Hello, Pisces. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for February 28th through March 6th. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Just a reminder, Pisces, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings. Some information may not resonate with you. So let's get into your reading. First card, the Ace of Wands. Next, Major Arcana card, the Moon. And Major Arcana card, the Tower. And your overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Pisces. Well, I'm picking up an energy here, Pisces, where something has been in your way and maybe unbeknownst to you. Could be a person around you or possibly a circumstance that you're unaware of. And I'm picking up that... This is going to like show up out of the blue, something that you're unaware of, either a person, a situation, a circumstance, something that what I feel was or is like a complete block for you. And maybe you were unaware of it. And this is the week you're going to like come face to face with it. So definitely being able to move forward. So definite change coming in this week, Pisces. So with that being said, let's take a look at your cards. And you start off with this beautiful energy here, the Ace of Wands. Looking at the individual here, we see this giant peony growing up out of the book. And it's an indication for imagination and ideas that are growing and expanding in your mind, Pisces. Give me one second. I'm doing so many readings, I'm losing my voice. Hold on. Okay, that's a little better. So this energy here is very inspiring and motivating energy coming in your way. So there's an opportunity for you to build on like a new foundation. And it's going to be something that you're going to be very interested in, very passionate about. So this could be an opportunity for a new relationship. It could be a new job, a new position, maybe a new company. It's whatever it is that you have a passion for, what you want to do with your life, who you want to be with, where you want to live. But the aces usually show up just indicating you're at the very beginning of an opportunity that's coming your way. And you need to grab it, Pisces, to bring it to fruition. So don't hesitate when this energy, this opportunity shows up. So let's pull a clarifying card, get additional information for the Ace of Wands this week. Ten of Swords. I'm trying to get that to focus. Okay. Well, that's the kind of energy that I was picking up in the beginning. There's something that was or is a huge black or interrupting you from being able to move forward. And it's really going to be different for each and every Pisces as to what like this relates to. Could be relationships, your job, your day-to-day -day living, your lifestyle. But with the Ten of Swords... It's an indication here that the worst is over. That 10 numerology means this cycle or phase is coming to an end. And then reducing 10 down to number one is your Ace of Wands energy. There is a new opportunity for you to explore, Pisces. Now, it's your next two cards, Pisces, that is going to be the disruptive energy that's bringing in change. Maybe creating a drastic change in your life as these major arcana cards do indicate a major life event. It's not your normal day-to-day -day activity. 
So first, let's look at your Major Arcana card, the moon. Almost a kind of like telling you something's coming or something's around you that you're unaware of. Something's been hidden from you, Pisces, and you might have felt it, but you couldn't see it. So the moon shows up when there is something hidden or sometimes it might be that you're hiding something from others. Maybe your true desires and what you truly want to be doing. But I'm really picking up the energy that there is something around you that was blocking you or detrimental, just creating such a challenge where you couldn't move forward. So it could be a circumstance or it could be an individual. And the energy with this moon card is all about divine timing. And I think that timing is this week, Pisces. This is the time for you to take hold of what this Ace of Wands energy is bringing in and then just run with it. Now, the moon card's main message for you is, is to like really trust in your intuition. And with you being one of the most intuitive signs, you're constantly feeling and getting different messages. So follow your gut instinct this week. You know, looking at this card here, you see this creature in the water trying to come up. It's an indication of maybe what you feel apprehensive about or fearful of or anxious about. But to proceed without being able to see what you're walking into. That's what the moon card's all about. And this number 18 reduces to nine. It's a time of review. Maybe seeing where you've been, lessons learned, past experiences, but also an indication that there's so much more for you to experience and to move forward. So walking down this new path, howling at the moon, <laughs> getting your excitement out there, so let's pull a clarifying card for the moon. See what additional information we get. And we've got the six of pentacles. Well, there's an indication here that things are going to start balancing out for you, Pisces. So there could have been something where you were maybe investing all your time and effort into one area of your lifestyle. And that was creating an imbalance in another area. So an example would be like if you are a workaholic and whether you were with someone or not in a relationship, you spent all your time to your job, your career, and not so much, if at all, in regards to that relationship or even to pursue having a love relationship. So Six of Pentacles is that balance of giving and receiving can also be an indication your financial security, your money coming in and money going out. So your financial flow. Kind of the phrase, um, what comes around goes around kind of energy. And the energy that's flowing in is in your favor this week, Pisces. Now your next card, Major Arcana card, The Tower. The tower card in this deck is situated on top of a volcano that's actually erupting. And this represents you, Pisces, just hanging on for dear life. Being trapped, hanging on and being engulfed, not wanting this to disappear because it's familiar. It's comfortable to you. But it must go, Pisces. So... That is actually the energy of what I feel is either someone around you that has been holding you back or some kind of circumstance that's holding you back. And you're hanging on to it for the sake of it being familiar and you need to let it go, Pisces. So definitely that can be referring to a relationship or a job with a certain company. And if things are not working out, you need to let it go. This is abrupt change. So I just keep picking up that something that you're unaware of is coming to light. And that's why the tower card represents something unexpected you're going to find out about. You might be very unhappy about it and not want to see it go. But on the other hand, this is going to be a blessing in disguise. 
This number 16 of the tower card numerology reduces to seven. Seven represents things that we don't have any control over and it just comes our way. But how you react to it, Pisces, is the key here. So let's pull a clarifying card for the tower, see if we get any additional information. The judgment card. Okay. Well, that's angelic communication coming in, Pisces. So another indication here to absolutely trust your intuition. Follow the direction it's telling you to go in. And of course, it's clarifying that this is going to be happening for your best interests. Whatever is erupting, surfacing, and blowing up, so to speak, this week is in your greatest, highest good. And it's all going to lead you down a different path. And that's what your Ace of Wands is all about for you, Pisces. Now, this number 20 here with the Judgment card can represent relationships. So for some Pisces, definitely a relationship ending, which is going to end up being the best thing you could do, Pisces. Now, your last card here, Eight of Pentacles, kind of known as the work card. But what I'm picking up and the message is coming through is there's work to be done. There's steps that you need to take. And that's in regards to your existing tarot cards here. You've got an opportunity that's coming in where the worst is going to be behind you. That's this card. And the moon card. That's an indication you're not seeing what's working behind the scenes. And then the tower card, of course, is eliminating the block, the challenge, the difficulty from your life. So you can get to work to what it is you truly want. Eight of Pentacles has the numerology of number eight, which is bringing in abundance. It's bringing in influence, leadership. So definitely for some Pisces, with this Eight of Pentacles showing up, you are a master at what you do for a living. And there could be significant changes taking place in regards to your work environment. You might be changing companies and going to something where you'll have a better position, more pay, and a better work environment. Now, taking a look here at your numerology for your three tarot cards, we have number 35, which reduces to eight, abundance coming in. You are being presented with things this week, unexpected things, most likely where you need to just say yes, move forward. Don't think twice about it. This is coming in to push you in the right direction. Now let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Crystal for the week, Unikite. Fortune for the week, Bouquet. And your spiritual message for the week, yes. All right, let's go back to your crystal for the week. And it says answered prayers. It says all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Definitely an indication that your prayers are being answered. And the challenges and roadblocks are being lifted. Now, this usually shows up with an indication that you might have taken, it, it really might have taken longer than you wanted it to, Pisces, but the universe respects free will choices and this could have involved others around you, and specifically with this tower card energy. They needed to go in order for you to move forward. So, it's all about having that hope and optimism with this crystal, a very positive mindset as the law of attraction is always in place. So with that positive mindset, you're getting an answer to your prayers and things are being taken out of your way for you to be able to move forward. Now your fortune for the week is bouquet and it says compliments from an admirer. 
Now, as much as you always think an admirer is in regards to a love relationship, that's not what I'm picking up, Pisces. You're getting compliments in regards to the work that you do. There's some talent or gift that you have, Pisces, that's coming to the forefront here. And it's going to get, it's really going to start to get noticed. Certainly could be for some Pisces in your work environment where you could get compliments from a boss for a job well done. And that seems to be the strongest message that I'm picking up with the bouquet card for you. Could also be a hobby, something that you enjoy doing on the side and it's getting noticed and you're getting compliments in regards to it, which might spark you to take it into like a new direction. Yeah, for some of you, you might then get some kind of a second source of income from a hobby, something that you like to do in your spare time. And since this tower energy is coming in, it's clearing away what might have been preventing you from doing that. So tower energy this week, Pisces, is the best thing that could happen to you, clearing out what is no longer needed in your life. Now, your spiritual message for the week is yes, and it says just say yes. This is actually one of the confirmation cards in this deck. There's only a few. And a huge indication here, don't overthink it, just say yes. So jump in to whatever opportunity comes your way with this Ace of Wands energy. Just say yes and know everything is going to work out as it was meant to be. So Pisces, that was your messages and guidance from Spirit from the cards that you received this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead and thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel and for a private tarot card reading one-on-one, -on -one, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Pisces family.